The Detroit Cultural Center Association receives the prestigious Partners in Progress Award. This is at the 2024 Bay Urban Visioning Awards, the award presented to the group in Spain, where they were celebrating pioneering urban initiatives that really demonstrate visionary collaboration and long-term impact. Lauren, you're here with one of the award winners now. I am, that's right. I'm here with Anya from the DCCA. Thank you so much for being here. It's Anya, I want to get right into this award, sure. award and the significance of it. What does this mean for the city of Detroit? Well, it's a fabulous opportunity and it's an honor because this uh, program brings together the best of what's happening in urban design and urban projects across the globe. So to be included in one of five awards that received this, um, this recognition is absolutely fabulous and brings us uh, in a conversation with the kind of visionaries on urban design, urban planning at a global scale. So. It's super exciting for us. Yeah, and when it comes to urban design, what role does Detroit play in that? Well, Detroit has been in the limelight for many years, um, sometimes for the fabulous things that happen here, sometimes for the challenges that the city has faced in regenerating um, a dense urban fabric and a healthy, healthy um, space for people to gather. And so, um, what Detroit brings to the table is a way of collaborating between institutions, public and private partnerships, uh, bringing engagement to the conversation, bringing residents into the conversation. So we're, we're talking about and we're introducing a way of designing urban space that's not just top down, but that includes so many voices in the conversation that it's very exciting for people to learn from what we're doing here. Yeah, and why is it important to make sure there's that level of inclusion? Well, we have a very diverse community in Detroit, and we have a diverse community in the metropolitan area and in Michigan writ large. And so when we're working at a project, on a project of this scale, 83 acres in the heart of the city, it's important for everyone to feel welcome and to feel included, and that this is a city that welcomes all. So inclusion, engagement has been a top priority of this project from day one. And when it comes to this project and, and reimagining this space, yeah. do you have an idea of what things will look like or what you hope it'll look like? Well, the cultural district is already exciting because there are 12 institutions that are densely packed into an 83 acre site. Mm -hmm. But in between those institutions, we've got lawns, we've got parking, we've got normative streets, but not a lot of space for people to stay, to linger, and to be together. So the space in between is what we're designing. This is part of this urban plan. And we're designing at many different scales for people to be able to be there during the day if they live close to the d district, uh, for people to visit on the weekends, for people to come to very big events uh, that are hosted there. So thinking about how everyone at every geography at every location can be included. But at the same time, we can't move forward with urban design without considering climate change. So how does that kind of work, that landscape, also help mitigate floodwaters? How does it improve the climate? How does it lower the heat island effect and make it inhabitable during the summer? These are all questions that combine with an arts focus to create a landscape that we've been working on now for five years. Wow, and if someone wants to lend their voice to this conversation, how can they get involved? Well, they can do so online. There's uh, something called ccpi.online, which is like a kind of feedback uh, board where people can look at portions of the project that are in progress and give us their opinions. They can also contact the Detroit Cultural Center Association and get involved. They can also get involved through their favorite institutions. So the Cultural District has the Detroit Public Library, it has the Detroit Historical uh, uh, Museum, the DIA is there, the Charles H. Wright Museum of uh, African American History. There are three universities there. So there are lots of people that are already coming to the district. Yeah. And by voicing their opinions to their favorite institutions, all of those institutions are working together on this plan. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Anya.